Hi friends, today the topic for today's discussion is the story of King Hammurabi and how his concept applies to margin of safety when it comes to uh, different sectors and the stock markets in general. To give you a brief about King Hammurabi, King Hammurabi uh, was the sixth best known ruler of the Amorite dynasty of Babylon. Noted for his surviving skills set of laws once considered uh, the oldest promulgation of laws in human history. So one personal story that I like about King Kamurabi uh, relates to the margin of safety concept. Uh, in ancient times when the engineers built a bridge uh, they didn't have skin in the game most of the times which becomes riskier uh, when a common man uses this bridge with, with a certain amount of load, the bridge might collapse, which might result in a loss of multiple lives. Realizing this, King Hammurabi came up with an interesting concept. So where again, once a bridge is constructed, the engineers are put beneath the bridge, right? So once a bridge is built, the engineers, they are put under the bridge and he made hundreds and hundreds of chariots and elephants to run above the bridge right so if the if the bridge is able to withstand uh, which implies uh, the highest quality and finest work done by the engineers and they have kept the safety guidelines in mind if it collapses the engineers collapse as well right so this was a condition that was put by uh, king Hammurabi. so the engineers when they realized this uh, that King Hammurabi uh, will put them under a stress test once the construction is done. Uh, they, they created the bridge in such a way that it's able to withstand 10 times of its original capacity. Right? That's why in Rome what we realize is that most of the bridges are more than 1000 years old and they are able to withstand multiple weather conditions and also adversities uh, that goes behind how the initial team had built it. Uh, in stock markets, the same concept applies, which is called the margin of safety. So where again, uh, uh, if we know that a particular stock is worth a certain price, we'll have to buy it below its intrinsic value. By doing that, uh, we are avoiding 